Hello there, my name is Vinicius and in this video I will show you how to integrate Google Sheets with Python through an API called JSPread. And this is an interesting topic because I started recently to work as a freelancer in the data analysis field and I saw many clients asking for this integration. For example, I worked in a project which involved web scrapping in a daily basis and this is was performed through uh, cloud computing services uh, which was the AWS and this integration was inside a part of the project pipeline. So this is interesting and in this week I saw uh, a project which involved this to solve a common problem in the real world. So to do that, we are going to follow some steps. The first one is to create a project in the Google Cloud Platform. And if you don't know about this Google Cloud Platform, don't worry, we will use it only to generate some credentials and to have access to Google Sheets and Google Drive. And to do that, we are going to activate these two APIs here, Google Sheets and Google Drive APIs. We are going to create a service account and export the credentials for this service account in a JSON file. After that, we are going to work with two spreadsheets from Google Sheets, and we need to share these spreadsheets with the service account email related to these credentials. So here I have, for example, a problem that we are going to solve. We have two Google spreadsheets and they contain a list of names, for example, in this one. And this one also has some names. Okay, and we are going to discover which names are in the workbook one but missing in workbook two and vice versa so to do that we are going to use the jspread and pandas libraries the jspread to integrate python google sheets and pandas to work with data frames after that we have to then interact these two of the Google Sheets and the JSPread API by using Python. In our case, we're going to use a Python with a such as VS Code. So if you find the proposal of this video helpful, you can share with a colleague, with a mate, and I will let this material here in a GitHub repository. And you can reach me, for example, to LinkedIn through this hyperlink here. And if you are going to discuss about projects or know someone would like help in some data analysis projects, my profile as freelancer are here. My profiles on Fiverr and Upwork. So let's move on to the practice. The first thing we need is to create a project here. I uh, have already created one, but you can create here by clicking on new project. We are going to use this I called share spread API. And here we are going to activate the Google Sheets API. This is already activated for me. So it will show a manage button in the place of activate. In your case, if you don't have it activate, in this place, you will have an activate. We can search for Google Drive API here. And the same applies for this API. There will be a button to activate in the place of the manage button. Okay, and after that, we're going to create some in API and services credentials. We're going to create our service account. So create credentials, service account, 
and we can give a name G sheets access i will call it this way and let's hit done okay now we should enter in this service account go to keys add a key create new key and export the json file i will copy and paste and our working director will be a local directory which i created to work on vs code so i will rename here to credentials.json and here i created a notebook to work with this this particular problem so after that we are going to open this credentials file and we need to copy and paste this email here let's share the spreadsheets with the email related to the service account here we apply the same okay and now we can start working with the coding so basically to work with this one we should have installed the jspread library we can use pip install jspread and we are going to import it together with pandas library so the basics of jspread involves creating a client and you use jspread dot service account and inform the file name for our credentials file which would be will be a json file then we open a workbook for example client dot open and the workbook name as a string and after we can read a specific sheet inside this workbook by using get worksheet method and inform an index for example zero one two and so on obviously there are a lot of several ways to do that but we are going to use this one here i let some methods for example get all records to read all records in a sheet we can have the specific obtain the specific values in some cells and we can use this notation as well this notation we can update cells by using two notations and we can update uh, entire row by using dot append row and enter a list of values here i let some example which talks about some methods of jspread so here it's a uh, an interesting material a documentation with examples and this is not the focus of the video we're going to start working here so the first thing we need is to create our client client just spread service account file name equal credentials dot json okay i will run the cell here to import the libraries and here we are going to read our first workbook i will call wb1 client open and the name is this one the same for workbook 2 client dot open Workbook two, workbook one, names will be workbook one, get worksheet, first work, worksheet will be uh, zero, the index will be zero, and the same for the second one. 
let's compile to see if it's working properly. Okay, it's working. And now we're going to read the entries of this and these workbooks. So I will call workbook names D dot data frame workbooks one a and the same for the second workbook. Uh, some error here. Okay. Get all records. I need to get our records because it will read uh, an object instead of it. So I should be use should use this method get a records and compile to see what happens. So let's check workbook one. Here is our names for workbook two one, and for workbook two there are the same results. Let's check here. Jean Maria Albert, workbook one. Jean Maria Albert, and the same for workbook two. Elizabeth Julia Allen. Okay, it's probably working. Okay, so we are going to call here only in workbook one. So we are going to copy here workbook one names, not workbook one names in the column in is name dot is in workbook two names, the column is name. Okay, and let's check here what we have. So John is in workbook one, but not in workbook two. The same applies for Albert. So Albert is here and is not here. For example, Maria did not appear here because she is here on the workbook too, so it's on the two workbooks, and we can do this for workbook two. So only uh, only on book, workbook two. Here we invert, and let's check the result. Okay, nice. Elizabeth is only on workbook two, and it. She's missing in workbook one. The same applies for Julia and Alan. Let's see, Julia and Alan, they are not here. Okay, it seems to be validated. So we can finish this problem by counting the, the number of entries that are only in each single workbook. So we can do a print F names that are only in workbook one. So we can length. Okay. And names that are only on workbook two. And let's check result so we have eight names that are unique for workbook one and names seven names that are unique for uh, workbook two so this ends our problem which was solved easily by using pandas and mainly the jespread api so i hope this was helpful if you like the video you can hit the like it button and subscribe the channel if you would like to see more contents like this